Hi, Mrs. Davis's class. I am Ryan Hickman from Ryan's Recycling, and I heard that you guys are learning about the environment, which is really cool. And I got all of your questions, and I wanted to answer them for you guys. So just very fast, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. So the first question is, Kayla, you asked how many beaches have I cleaned since I started? Um, just, I really don't know. I've cleaned up so many be or same beach, but multiple times. Um, and I've got a lot of trash, so I'm thinking maybe like 500 times, or probably way more. But yeah, I do lots of beach cleanups. Okay, um, Daryl or Trey asked, how long does it take um, to recycle 10,000 pieces of recycling or bottles of cans? Well, um, last weekend I recycled like 16 and a half, 17,000 cans of bottles. So that's just a weekend. So I recycle a lot and it doesn't take that long. Just, yeah, it's just really easy to recycle. So please try your best to recycle. Okay, Chandler asked, how many beaches have I cleaned in a year? In a year? Mm, well, I try to do one every week. So probably about 60 a year because there's about 52 weeks. I try doing one about each week, maybe twice a week. So yeah, about 60 a year. So good question. Eli asked, how many places have I gone to recycle? Well, there's a lot of cities um, around me which I was uh, pick up from, but I don't have to be here. I could be in New York City and recycle a plastic bottle there. I've been to lots of places and recycled there and taught people how to recycle too. <laughs> okay, Chase says, or asked, how much do you think I recycle per year? Hmm. Well, last year I recycled about 500,000 cans of bottles. So far I've recycled about 1.1 million cans of bottles. So it's a lot and it just adds up. So, okay. Adeline, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Ad Adeline says, when you get the money from uh, the recycling, do I give it to charity or another place? Well, half the money I put into my college fund and half the money I donate to the Pacific Marine Mammal Center, or for short, you could call it the PMMC, um, which they rescue sick and injured seals, sea lions, harbor seals, elephant seals, and northern fur seals. And they buy food and medicine for sick and injured um, seals and sea lions and stuff. And when they're better, they release them. So I chose that charity to donate some money to. Oh, okay, Ben asked, how do I, or how do you keep doing this um, even though more trash are getting thrown on the beach every day? Well, I just try my best to get as much trash as possible when I do my beach cleanups. I know more trash are getting thrown. That's why I try to do one at least once a week when I'm not traveling. <laughs> When I'm traveling, I try doing it where um, I'm traveling at, but yes, I try picking up as much trash as possible. Noah asked, what made you want to clean up the beaches instead, oh, instead of parks and forests? Well, most it's mostly because we live about two miles away from a beach, but I have did a neighborhood cleanup a couple times. I rode my bike around uh, my neighborhood with my dad with a bucket and a little grab arm and picked up trash for an hour and I filled up about a five gallon bucket twice. So you don't have to be near a beach to do cleanups like me. You could do them anywhere. Neighborhood, park, riverbed, river, anywhere. Okay, Nikki asked, what inspired you to continue recycling um, after my dad introduced me to recycling? Well, it was just really fun, and I saw it was helping the environment, so I just wanted to keep recycling after he introduced it to me. Okay. Elijah? Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. E-L-I-Z-A. Eliza. Says, what is my favorite thing to recycle? Mm, probably plastic, because it's the most common thing that I get or something called bit metal. It's a type of like soda can that you cannot squeeze like a normal one. I don't get a lot of that. So I kind of like recycling that. It's kind of fun getting it. <laughs> okay, 
Aubrey asked, oh, sorry for me, if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Aubrey says, what is the most found piece of trash I find on, like, on the beach, and how much do I find of it? I find a lot of this type of piece. It's, have you guys, like, ever had, like, a juice pouch or, like, a Capri Sun and the straw comes in, like, a wrapper? I find lots of those wrappers on the beach and lots of cigarette butts. I cannot even count how many I find. Oh, and lots of scrunchies, too. Lots of those. Okay, Kevin B. asked me how much trash is... Wait, how much trash is considered too much for me if, if there is too much trash? And do I ever give up? No, I never give up because I just try my best to clean up as much trash as I can and... There is a lot of trash, probably too much, but I just try my best to clean it all up. Like the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, that's about three and a half times the size of Texas. So it's pretty big, and that's a lot of trash. <laughs> okay, Kevin S. asked, how much trash do you think people will waste in 10 years? Hmm, I really don't know about that. I know people throw a lot of trash away and recycling. My trick is um, to know if it's recyclable or not. I think to myself, if in doubt, throw it out. So like, if I have like an aerosol can and I don't know if it's recyclable, I think to myself, if in doubt, throw it out and I throw it out just to be safe. Okay. Miss David, wait, Mrs. Davis asks, do I ever feel discouraged about um, my mission? If so, what do you do to get motivated again? I get discouraged when people litter or don't recycle right. You know how I get motivated? By seeing people help me like clean up the beach or if they see trash on the ground and they pick it up even if it's not theirs. Okay, sorry for pronouncing your name wrong. Veer, V-E, wait, V-E-E-R asked, how do you feel when people get inspired by me and want to help clean the earth? And have I ever met somebody who helps clean, like, the beaches like me? Well, I do get or I do feel um, inspired when I see people helping the earth and... I do see lots of people help or just cleaning up the beaches when I'm cleaning it up. They aren't like actually helping me, but they are kind of <laughs> like they are helping me by like cleaning up the beach. But yeah, so it's really important to just clean up anything really. Just make sure that trash is not on the ground. Okay, Manny asked, um, when I'm picking up trash, do I ever get unmotivated? Only when I see people litter, but I do like um, it when people do pick up their trash or even pick up somebody else's trash. Okay, Macy, M-A-C-I, sorry, I pronounced your name wrong. Um, how many weekends do you spend on every beach? Well, I try going once a week, like pretty much every Friday to a beach for about two hours and cleaned up I get about four to five um five gallon buckets of trash so it's a lot I used to only get like a bucket but past year with like COVID and stuff everybody's like trying to get out of the house everybody's going to the beach and everybody's leaving more trash so it's I really think it's important to clean up your or uh, just clean clean up trash at the beach right now or anywhere. Okay, Regan Regan says, I think it's Regan, uh, asked, how do I think recycling impacts the world and why do you think that? I do think recycling like helps out the environment because I see like plastics and like cans and stuff um, on the beach about to get washed out into the ocean. Like a straw, it's on the beach. I pick it up and I know it's not ending up in the ocean inside of a turtle's nose. So I definitely think that recycling 
helps out the environment. Okay. Ruddy Rudy asked, what does the landfill look like with all the trash? And is there a better way, if there's a better way to throw away trash? Well, a landfill looks like with a lot of trash is just a big pile of trash. And that's not good for the environment. And if there's a better way to throw about trash, try recycling as much as you can. Think about it. If in doubt, throw it out. And if you can't recycle it and it's still perfectly good, like a wooden basket or something, reuse it or make it into a new thing. I, most of you guys probably heard of the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle, but there's actually two more, repurpose and rot. You can repurpose something, like make it into something new, so. Mm -hmm. Afton, A-F-T-O-N, asked, what is the most interesting thing I found while picking things up on the beach? Hmm, pretty tough. Okay, I have found shotgun shells. Um, if, you do, if you guys don't know what that is, you could ask your teacher. <laughs> She'll know what it is. Um, Three dollars in dimes, which pretty interesting. A flip phone, car keys, and an iPhone. I know. <laughs> and most of that stuff I found on one day, which was pretty surprising, but the iPhone and car keys I returned to um, like the snack shack there and the flip phone that was like totally damaged and stuff. It looked like it was underwater for like 40 years. <laughs> it was like all like rusted and stuff. So there's no way getting that thing to work again. <laughs> so I recycled it. Alexis asked, where do you put all the trash I collect before taking it to a recycle? Well, I keep all the recycling stuff on the side of our house until we have enough. When we have enough, we take it to the recycling center or if we're just picking up from people when yeah, when we're just picking up and we're heading like up towards the recycling center area picking up, we just take it and drop it off at the recycling center. Instead of bringing it all the way back, sorting it and taking it up. And why do I um, recycle? Because it's good for the environment and because it's very fun. And anybody could do it. I started when I was three and a half. That means you guys can start right now if you guys would like. <laughs> And how far out in the sea um, do I go out to get trash? I don't really go out in the sea to get trash, but I do have some friends at Four Ocean who's making like some like cool like robots that go out in the ocean and like just suck up trash, which is pretty cool. So yeah, they are pretty cool. Okay guys, that's, that's all the questions, but I have a surprise for you guys. My favorite question that I read is going to be getting a shirt of their choice. I'm not wearing it now, but one shirt of, my, of your choice from my website. And my favorite question or person who wrote my favorite question is going to get a shirt of their choice. And that is going to be Aubrey. Congrats, Aubrey. So please um, have Miss Davis or your parents message us. Uh, your shirt size, what shirt you would like, and your shipping information or address. And we'll be sure to send that shirt out right away. Thanks everybody um, at Mrs. D or, and Mrs. Davis um, for sending me these amazing questions and I hope to meet you guys someday in real life. Thanks everybody for sending these, bye.